Impressive, you know, it's a good place to start with Carp leading off in four doubles and um, set the tone right off the bat. So, um, you know, quality swings all through the all the game for Matt and um, just a quality outing for him. Another game, another incredible play by Harrison Bader there in the first. He scores on, on the ball in the in the infield. Carp called him one of the best base runners he's ever played with. Yeah, you know, he's got a nice mix of um, aggression and instincts and, um, and awareness. So... Uh, it's a great combination. Give Gomber some real credit, too. You know, he um, put the ball in play, got down the line real well, and, and he was getting after it. And, uh, you know, Kendo did a nice job keeping him going, too. So just a really, really good baseball play. This is not an easy ballpark to pitch in, let alone a rookie, let alone a left-hander. And Austin made it look relatively easy today. He did. You know, you're right, Eric. It's not an easy place to pitch. And um, he pitched really well, clearly. And, um, you know, made pitch when he had to. He got a couple of double play balls that were big for him. And, um, you know, Austin's a competitor. And he's got the pitches and the weapons. And, you know, they put some put some swings on him. And he just came right back and made quality pitches. And, you know, when they had some damage out there, he limited it. So um, really quality six innings. Yeah, no, it's great. I think um, got some information that you know I'm looking at it and just tallying it up. You know, six straight um, two out hits in the first, and I think we had nine two out RBIs. Um, that's a lot of production with two outs. Speaks to staying present and staying um, in competition throughout. Do you think there's a shared trait between coming back from a game like last night and not having anything? dwindle into today and staying like present. I mean, are those, is that a, is there a shared strength there? I think this is a team that's comfortable that they know they, put, they know how to play the game and are confident in being, you know, just going and playing, being consistent and um, aware that, you know, things happen in games and, um, but not going to get too sideways about it because we know what, what our strengths are and how we want to play and how we want to compete and how we want to approach things. And we just keep our mindset on those things and the rest takes care of itself. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I mean, Ross did a nice job getting through the seventh and eighth, and, you know, Dom comes in and gets a four-pitch inning, so um, good for him. Welcome him back. That was a nice outing. Back to Vader, is that just a pure instinct play? Is that a, or is that a play that's worked on? It's a play it's talked about, and it's talked, and, um, you know, he's aware of, um, you know, with two outs runner second base, you're looking to, um, you know, get a good secondary, especially with somebody in front of you, you know, maybe a little, a little bit more, but, um, and you got two strikes, so you're going on the swing. So it's anticipation, it's awareness, and then it's just, it's, um, you know, it's effort after that. And although, you know, he's got all three of those things going for him, he's, like you say, he's an exceptional base runner. Carpenter getting some MVP chance in the I hope so. Is it too early for that yet? Um, I don't know. You know, I don't have a lot of bases to gauge that on. It's a fair question. Um, you know, the numbers are speaking for themselves, and he came out today in a, in a you know, a game that, you know, we were looking to win a series in and has four doubles. So I think that's characteristics of what that award looks like. His last play, the Rockies, you guys won your second straight series that was about a month ago, and now it's nine straight. Is it, is it fair to look at that series as kind of a kickstart a little bit, or maybe just that time period? And what's kind of been, you know, what's changed in that month? Um, well, I think, it, you know, you get the first one going and, you know, clearly got the ball rolling. So you have to start somewhere. Um, I think it just spoke to um, how we played the game that series and, you know, just played good, clean, aggressive, fundamental baseball. And that's what we do every day. It's our goal. What do you see in Carp on this road trip? You got him the day break. He played a lot. Mm -hmm. He the day break. He had this stretch of strikeouts against the Dodgers. Do you see a guy who just quickly adjusts? Do you see anything? I mean, he goes from a stretch, maybe the, like a mini slump for him to, to doing that. Yeah, you're talking about just a professional hitter, and clearly he's going to get pitched tough. Um, and guys made some quality pitches on him, and you know he, you know this is a hard game, and you're going to have those little, you know, mom moments or a couple games where you know you're not getting some hits, hitting balls at people, or you know just having some at bats, you're not seeing the ball as good. That's just part of it. But you know he's a professional elite hitter, and he knows who he is, and um, he knows how to get back to what that looks like for him as an anchor, and he just goes about competing and. And, um, you know, he's got talent, so talent plays, and, and he's got preparation that goes with it. So, you know, it shows up. Is there something that you or the hitting coaches talk about with, with two out hitting him? Is there a, a philosophical thing that you discuss? Uh, you know, I, I, really the biggest thing, we, we don't want to give any quarter. Two strikes, two outs, score. You know, I, thought, I think we saw that today. You know, we were able to continue to add on, which I thought was impressive. Um, 
keep taking good at bats, some good situational hitting. You know, Harrison got that bunt down, and um, you know, Gomber got his bunt down later on, and Harrison had a sack fly, and you know, Jed had some good at bats, and um, you know, Hosey, and so you know, we're just about you know being relentless with every opportunity you get, and so that just really you know falls into line with every category, right? One out, no out, you know, up, down, on the road, at home, two outs, two strikes. I mean, it's just about competition and, and uh, staying available to what you're doing and, and um, you know, let your talent play.